What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, and back with some more Girls Aloud. And on the advice of Flemish Giant, the sponsor of this deep dive, as well as a number of other people who commented in similar fashion, we're going to skip ahead to the next album, What Will the Neighbors Say, 2004, and the first track is The Show. The show is any entertainment. It could, of course, be a reference to a particular person. There are people who actually have that nickname in sports and other places. But yeah, the idea of the show being the reason people are here, what they want to see. Of course, there are expressions that incorporate that into a larger concept. The show must go on, meaning that's the most important thing. So even if someone gets hurt or someone drops out, someone has to be replaced, the show continues to be the focus. So. Yeah, I do feel like it's likely to be the understanding that it's often invoked in, the idea of the entertainment, the, the purpose of everything. So let's see what I can pick up on a first listen. This is The Show by Girls Aloud, the first track on their 2004 album, What Will the Neighbors Say? <laughs> tune sonically again it's got a bit of that electronic underground sound mixed with a pop atmosphere ultimately the combination of that trance style melody like keyboard melody mixed with that gritty electric doubling it felt like they were doing the same thing at the same time but it gave it again this 
contrast or rather symmetry where it had a harder underground feel but with a more you know hands up in the air trance or like dance pop type of feel at the same time lyrically i'm intrigued like i think i get the essence of the tune i mean she's saying that no one sees the show until her heart decides that it's so so she sounds like the show is her and her allure and being with her but I was confused. At first I thought she was saying, like, this other guy had left and she wanted to get him back. But I feel like the line about, you should have jumped a little higher and you shouldn't have been so lazy and joined the queue, it sounds like maybe she's saying that this guy didn't appreciate her, wasn't quite reciprocating enough, wasn't putting enough into the relationship, and she felt that it was cheapening what she was bringing, the show that she had on offer. And I don't know if the idea of her traipsing around in the kitchen in her underwear is, you know, part of the show, or if, again, it was just more metaphorical, like, everything that I bring, the attraction or the allure, indeed, that I have is the show, and you're now going to miss out on it, and if you want to get back to it, you know, you got to get in line because you lost your place. So I don't know which direction that's heading, but again, it sounds like she's saying, you can't just come back and be with me right away, you can't get the full show if you don't pay for it, if you don't win my heart first, because that's the cost, that I have to be really into this and feel it emotionally before I give you the show. So again, it feels like it's taking the concept of the show in a performative, artistic sense, and then placing it in the interpersonal, psycho-emotional, romantic context. And also, again, there's the the mixture of the energy and danceability of the tune with a bit of a, you know, deep emotional idea that, you know, I'm not giving myself away for free and, again, if things got messed up because you were lazy and you weren't willing to reach a little more for what I feel I'm worth, then sorry, but, you know, you go to the back of the queue, you're out of here. So if I had to guess, I would say that's more the direction, but, again, there were a couple moments where I thought she was the one who was wishing that she could get this guy's attention back, so maybe there's a bit of both to it, maybe I'm not sure, but yeah, a cool opener, enjoyed the syncopated breakbeat quality with, again, seemingly a mixture of more underground electronic sounds with more radio-style dance pop at the same time. I don't know when I've listened to their songs previously if there's someone who does the lead vocal on most of the tunes, or if they sort of interchange, or if often it's most of them singing essentially together, so curious about that, but yeah, as I said, given what I had been told that the majority of the remaining part of Sound of the Underground wasn't as compelling as the opening, let's say, half of the record, I thought it was a good idea to move ahead to this, so shout out again to Flemish Giant for sharing, as well as Mark and some others who've commented on the previous reaction so far. Let me know what you think of this one, and I will see you next time. Peace.